Well, good morning, Crooked River. Good morning, everyone. Announcements again. Yep. Yep. What are we going to announce? <laughs> we usually start with jokes. That's right. I got two of them for you, okay. Mrs. Bonner. Okay, I can't okay. wait. All right. This one is for, from Hoyt from um, oh, first grade. I heard this one. This Mrs. Rubber's class. is really funny. Yeah. Okay, you're ready. What snakes are found on cars? Snakes, slither, slither, snakes. What snakes on cars. are found on cars? Any idea? Oh, I know it. She knows it. Okay, I'll go ahead and say it. Windshield vipers. <laughs> Windshield <laughs> vipers. Instead of wipers, yeah. vipers? Yep. I hope you're laughing because that's so funny. <laughs> that's fake. Okay. It is funny, though. It was a pretty funny joke. Now, this one's a good one, Mrs. Bonner. You haven't okay. heard this one. I don't know this one. Okay, this is from my good friend Ethan Gooding. Okay. In Mrs. Stringer's class. Yep. Why did the Scarecrow win a Nobel Prize? Why did the Scarecrow win a Nobel Prize? Yeah, why did the Scarecrow win a Nobel Prize? I have no idea. Because he was outstanding in his field. I get it. That's <laughs> funny. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. Outstanding in his field scarecrow. Yep, outstanding. Yeah. Those are some good ones, guys. <laughs> those were yeah. two of the best, I think. Yeah, those are good. So awesome. keep the jokes coming, kiddos. We love them. Very good. Okay, we have some rules to go over today. Yes. And then I have a really cool poem to share from a third grader. Nice. Um, but there's a few things going on in our building that need to stop. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be serious for a second. Um, I'm even going to kind of pull my mask down and get away from you a little okay. bit because I want to make sure that this is really clear. So we have had several students over probably the past couple months using the word kill at school and using it kind of loosely, like playing tag, I'm going to kill you, saying things like that. I want to make it very, very, very clear. You do not use the word kill at school. Let me say that again. Do not use the word kill at school. Your teachers have already talked to you about this, but Mr. Stefanik and I are making it very clear. Anybody who uses the word kill, we take it very, very seriously, and major office referrals happen because of this. And you have to think about, even if you say it in a joking way, we can't say it in a joking way. The person you say it to goes home and tells their family and their family is understandably very upset. So we are, no way, no way do we ever use that word at school, joking or not. Okay? All right. Mrs. Barr, I want to add to that just a little bit more too, that the severity of using the word kill, I'm going to kill you or anything of that nature, whether you're joking or not involves law enforcement. Mm -hmm. That's happened a couple times this year where Mrs. Bonner, I had to call Officer Kaufman and he had to come down and we had to do an investigation. Mm -hmm. That's how serious it is. So we're done with it. Thank yep. you for the for the reminder and it's mm -hmm. not even part of our vocabulary here at school. Okay, okay. I like it. Thank the you. other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about too is Crooked River kids, you hear me say this all the time. We're the best kids on the planet. For we sure. love you guys to Without death. Without a doubt. Yep. Best kids. But we've been in school for quite a while now, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Bonner. And I think, and I can honestly say that we know what the expectations and yeah. rules are here at Crooked right. River. Okay. We've had some kids that seem to forget what our expectations and rules are. They're horsing around in the bathrooms. Recess has been a tough place. And just forgetting what our rules and expectations are and they're getting themselves in trouble okay mm -hmm. so i just want to put a reminder out there you guys know what you need to do be safe respectful responsible kind follow the rules at school and you're going to be good to go if you don't you're going to get yourself in trouble okay just a little reminder there yep and there's just one more thing sometimes we have to be really serious with you guys to make sure you understand our rules here's something else that's happening kids are locking the bathroom stalls they're crawling underneath the bathrooms and locking the stalls so then somebody else has to crawl under them to unlock them. You guys, that's disgusting. Nobody needs to be on the bathroom floor. So if you see somebody locking the bathroom stalls, you need to report that. We need to find out who it is and that's vandalism and it will be a major office referral. Do not lock the bathroom stalls. That is not respectful. It's not responsible. It's not safe. 
and it's certainly not kind. Do not lock the bathroom stalls. I mean, when, when nobody's in there, right? When you're in there, lock it. But I'm saying that kids are actually crawling under, locking it, crawling back under, so nobody can get in. We're not doing that either. No. Okay. Not funny at all. Not funny. Okay, so sorry, some serious things we had to go over. Um, but now I'm going to read a poem to you from a third grader from Mrs. Weiss' class, and her name is Ainsley. She wrote a really cool poem. I think if you'll step over just a little, I'm, I'm going to do it. my mask down so you can hear me read this poem too. So here it goes. It's called A Hundred Years Ago. Sometimes I sit and wonder about stuff I don't know. Like what earth was like a hundred years ago? Did cavemen ride on dinosaurs? Did flowers even grow? We could guess, but that was a hundred years ago. I wish they built a time machine and picked me to go to check out the scene a hundred years ago. Did giant spiders rule the earth? Ooh, I hope not. Were deserts filled with snow? I guess we'll never know. I wonder what it was like a hundred years ago. Wow. Good job, Ainsley. That was a great poem. That's so good. I love it when we get to share kid work on our yeah. morning announcements. That's so fun. Yep. Okay, let's do some prizes. Oh, memos. I got some cool shades, Mrs. Monter, just for this task. Oh, check you out. Those are pretty. Not awesome. as cool as the rabbit ears, but these are still pretty cool. Oh, Mrs. Mai said she has ears on order for us, but we don't know what those are. Okay. We'll find out. I can't wait. Any opportunity to tease mm -hmm. us with cool rabbit ears or something like that, we gladly accept. All right. There's their first one. Number one from Miss Vincent's class, Cruz. Cruz, I think you need those shades. Oh, does he yep. need these shades? I Maybe they'll so. be up for auction then. Maybe they There's will. another one. All right, from Mrs. Bryant's class for being responsible, Bentley Gibson. Come on Good down, Bentley. Good job, Bentley. All right, from Mrs. Fisher's class, Morgan for being responsible. Morgan. Oh, from Mrs. Lane's class for being responsible, Jacob Barker. Jacob. Then from Mrs. Wagner's class for being everything, safe, responsible, respectful, and I'm sure kind, Eva. Good Come job, on Eva. In. Last okay, one. Okay, last one for today from Mrs. Godad's class for being responsible, Cameron Rowe. Come on down. All right. Right on. Fantastic. Okay, so you guys, you have school today. Obviously, you're here. And then your teachers have conferences tonight with some of your parents. And then there's conferences all day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So there's no school tomorrow. And then when you come back to school on Monday, we have a lot of full weeks now. Lots and lots of full weeks until the end of May. So lots and lots of learning to get yep. to. It's hard to take You know what I'm going to do about all that, <laughs> that hard learning going on? What? Dab. Dab it. Dab. Let's do it one more time. Dab. My kid tells me I dab wrong. I don't. That's because we're adults. We do it wrong. But it still looks cool, I think. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Okay. Mm. Dab. So if we're doing it wrong, come tell us how we're doing it wrong. Yeah. Miss Victoria just did that with her head like I'm supposed yeah. to put my head down. I think she's putting her head the wrong way. you got to put it kind of in your armpit like this. Dab. Oh, my head's going yeah. the wrong way. Dab. Oh. There it is. Oh. Yep. Okay. I'm yep. probably still doing something wrong, so come and It's because you don't have the shades on, Miss You know what else I can't do that? What's that dance that you go like this? Oh, the flosser. I can't do it. And my kids I can't just, either. You do better I can't, than I can. I cannot do the flosser. We're working on our dance moves. Okay. We're, okay. All right. <laughs> Place loop. Okay, let me take the cool shades yeah. off. I want to be, be respectful. respectful. All right. All right, everybody. Oh, yep. Right hand over our hearts. We'll let Mrs. Mize get behind us so she can look at the flag. All righty. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all all right enjoy yep. your long weekend be super super safe and uh oh you want to know what this weekend on saturday i'm getting a puppy oh how fun puppies are so cute oh my gosh i can't wait i'm gonna give you a dab for that dab 
Yeah. <laughs> was that right? I don't know. Looks good, Mrs. Bonner. We'll anyway, go with it. All right. I'll tell you all about my puppy on Monday. Okay. Okay. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.